Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We've recently been doing a heap of videos around live streaming, the advantages of live streaming, and how you can use it to grow your audience and interact with your audience online. We recently did a video on how you can use Wirecast Studio to live stream live to Facebook professionally. So using multiple cameras um, and screen sharing and really taking live streaming on Facebook to the next level. We've also done videos on how you can live stream direct to multiple YouTube channels simultaneously. So the advantage there is that you can actually hit two different audiences, yourself and maybe someone that you're interviewing at the same time and interact with both audiences live. So this video is how you can live stream direct to Facebook and to YouTube at the same time using Wirecast Studio. And we're gonna run through how to do it. Okay, so the first thing to do is to open up Wirecast Pro or Wirecast Studio, and we will add our camera here just so you can see what's going up. Make it live. Right, we're gonna add an output source for Facebook. So click on Output, Output Settings, and choose Facebook. First thing to do is to give your live stream to Facebook a name, so we could call it test one, and you'll just see it updates on the side here, Facebook test one, so that's this live stream. Facebook doesn't let you change your quality settings, so we're stuck with 720p, which is more than fine. The next step is to authenticate your Facebook account that you're going to be live streaming to. So click on authenticate, log into Facebook, once you're logged in, you can choose where you want the live stream to go. So whether it's to your personal profile or whether it's to a page. And you can give the live stream a title and a description for the post. Now it's just a matter of clicking create. And when you click create, what it does is, is it generates you an RTMP stream or, or all the details that you need to be able to stream from Wirecast direct to Facebook. So what that means is it's created the live stream on Facebook's end, and these are the details that we're gonna use to push our live video to Facebook from Wirecast. So the next step, Facebook is set up. We're gonna add a second source, which we're gonna use for YouTube. And instead of choosing YouTube here, we're gonna choose RTMP server. Click OK. Up until recently, you could just add an output source for Facebook and another one for YouTube. But something's changed either at Facebook's end or at Wirecast's end, and the two no longer work together. So the way around it is to add YouTube as an RTMP stream. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we'll give it a name and call it YouTube. YT for YouTube. Destination is an RTMP server. Here we do get to choose the quality settings. I'd recommend keeping them at 720p because it's the same stream that you're gonna be pushing out for Facebook. Now this is where we have to log into YouTube in order to get the details for the event. Okay, so head over to YouTube and select the account that you wanna live stream from and click create a studio. When that loads, click on live streaming And under Stream Now, down, down a little bit here, you'll see Server URL. We'll copy this, and we'll paste it back into Wirecast. So the other part that we need to grab there is the stream name. You wanna click Reveal to reveal that. Oh, and copy and paste it back into Wirecast which becomes your stream name. So what this says is we've generated a new live stream on YouTube, it's gonna be pushing it to YouTube, and the stream name is this, so that's our unique code for this live stream, so that when we're pushing data to that stream name, YouTube knows to play it on our channel. Same as we've done with Facebook. So what we've ended up with here is two output streams, one that's going to Facebook, to this RTMP stream, which we've generated, and one going to YouTube using RTMP with the stream name that they've just provided us. Now we just click OK and hit the big button up here, stream when you're ready to go live. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share, a thumbs up or a comment. If not, thumb it down, we'd like the feedback. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to subscribe to our weekly video updates. We'll see you next time.